Hello, I'm Brad Blondbeard, and today is Monday, not just any Monday, but Melee Weave Monday. Which means that today I'm going to try to get better at something that I've been meaning to do, uh, and that's Melee Weaving. Something that uh, is, to my knowledge, more of a recent invention in uh, the classic WoW history. Uh, not something that was exactly part of the original WoW landscape, as far as hunters were concerned. Um, so I'm going to try to go here and I want to, I, I downloaded some add-ons from the classic uh, WoW Hunter Discord. Uh, so if you go to the pins in the Melee Weaving channel, you'll be able to get uh, all the uh, add-ons that I got. Most of them are weak ores here. Alright, I'm going to go over them a little bit more here in a little bit. And I also got a, a Weapon Swing Timer, which is again, on if you go to the classic wow uh hunter discord you'll find the weapon swing timer and the macros and uh, add-ons uh, uh sub channel and what i would like to do today is just really use those add-ons to improve my skills because i've been it's something that i've wanted to do i wanted to get better at melee weaving and i i didn't it was hard to tell if I was doing better. So what did we need? We needed a better way to gather information and present it to decision makers, right? And again, that is my definition of accounting in general. So really, this is like an accounting stream right now. We need a better accounting of the situation of made weaves. So I will, uh, I will go find, as I'm leveling, uh, I will go find things to try this on. Now the best thing that you can do to improve this would be to be a higher level and uh, a max level and actually go in uh, Dire Mall North do the uh, and near the, the end boss there, the king, are uh, these uh, ogre spirits, the ghosts. And for them, uh, they they don't, apparently they don't do any damage and they, t they uh, I guess don't take damage. But essentially they're target dummies. I've never used them because I've never been max level. But that would be the, if you really want to push this, that's where you want to go. Because that way you can keep track, uh, keep practicing over and over and over and over without having to find additional mobs. Uh, but for me right now, uh, since I don't have access to that, instead what I'm going to try to do is just to improve my melee weaving abilities on just, just the stuff that I have when I'm leveling. So like, let's say, let's say that there's, you know, a spider here. So you can see, I have a, quite a quite a few user interface um, things here. Uh, this one here is going to help me see which side I'm doing. Uh, it has a couple components. Let's just start attacking. I'll get my pet in. We can start attacking. We can see what happens, right? So it shows my auto shot as it fills up. The auto shot's going, and then the uh, the wind up time. And then as I get closer, it says I can melee weave, and then it says I'm in range to, uh, I'm out of, I'm in range. So am I in, if I'm in range, uh, it'll have a, a green icon on there, and if I'm out of range, if I'm in uh, auto shot range, it has an icon, if I'm melee range, it has an icon, right? So you can see the icons here lit up. So like now I can actually shoot. This bar goes back and forth, kind of saying what's uh, see, now. I'm going in here. Now I'm going back out. And so you can see the bar goes back and forth once I start moving. Missed that hit. Okay. So that's the top bar. I think the bar that's probably the most helpful for knowing what you should be doing is this bar down here. Right now it says medium range, it's a range checker, right? Uh, so it's going to tell me when I'm in medium range, what I want to be is in the part called sweet spot, naturally. Okay, that means I'm as cl about as close as I can get while still being uh, eight yards from the enemy. No path available for my pet. Okay, that guy's, uh, that guy's bugged, apparently. Oh, there's a guy there. So I want to be at the sweet spot. So that's as close as I can. I can get really close. I get in melee range, which has another indicator. So it tells me when I'm in, you know, dead range, uh, dead zone, sweet spot where you want to be. 
and uh, melee range. So like as soon as you see it turn green, that's when you want to hit. Only at that at that point, you want to hit your uh, Raptor Strike macro one time, and then go back out. All right. And the whole idea of melee weaving, the whole the whole reason that this works, is because hunters have essentially two swing times. They have a swing timer for their melee attack, and they have a swing timer for their auto shot. And you can exploit that to attack almost twice as frequently if all you were doing was the auto shot and the melee hits, right? Well, that's not all you're doing, of course. But this is the simplest, simplest version of melee weaving. We just go back and forth from using our melee attacks and using our uh, auto shots. I went a little bit farther away. Intimidate him, please. Okay. So I'm just going to go back and forth. So this is the most basic example that you have. This is the simplest thing that you can do. Just go back and forth. Use both of your swing timers. Start from the sweet spot. Cost, cast auto shot. <coughs> Excuse me. Run in. When it says melee range, that's when you do your Raptor Strike macro. Not before. Hopefully, just as soon as you see melee range pop up. And then run back out to so you can shoot. And when you do this, you want to be moving. You can see how I'm strafing back and forth. You want to stra strafe back and forth. Uh... Oops, hit the wrong button. You want to straight back and forth so that you're not having, like, you don't want to be a backpedaling. Backpedaling is slow, right? We don't want to be slow. We want to be fast. What's on your mind? Be good. This guy just dies, right? Well, we'll start this escort, I guess. Isn't there, is, is there a, an outhouse here? I thought there should be an outhouse. Because, oh, the key to freedom. Okay. So of course you can obviously get those uh, those lovely little things that happen whenever you uh, have awkward terrain, and that can mess you up. Let's see if it'll go on that guy. Yeah. I want to be in the sweet spot, and also uh, another important UI element I have is the weapon swing timer, and it's been uh, updated to include. Um, for, for uh, at some point the the original author was not was no longer supporting it, but uh, one of the the classic hunter uh, Discord uh, founder, I suppose, uh, maybe a member at least, a person who is important in the community, right? Six Fury, right? He took care of that. Uh, that person took care of it, and so uh, made it uh, keeps updating this so that it's still there, right? Like you can find more information on the the, the specifics on things when if you go to the uh, to download it on Curse. Um, and that'll tell you down here your auto shot timer essentially. It's, it, it uh, you know, fills up the white part means that your auto shot's like on cooldown. When it gets to the red part, that's when it's saying stop. On the white part, you can move. It's fine to move when you're on the white part. Essentially, is what it's telling you. When it gets to the red, that means that your wind-up is starting. And so that gets all the way out. And that's when you... Uh, your auto shot will go off. Okay. So we'll go ahead. This is great. Here we can just... And this isn't even melee weaving, I would per se. But this is the... This is like the ideal sort of leveling situation. Is you got two guys. One you can just constantly be meleeing, and one that you have your pet on, uh, and you're just shooting your shots at. Like the only bad thing about that is your uh, aim shot gets pushed back, so that's not good. But the nice thing is just that you have you're constantly. You don't have to worry about a dead zone in that case, right? There's no dead zone to worry about because you just have one guy that you're hitting constantly. So you're like you have maximum efficiency. So two guys. And I guess, you know, theoretically even better would be like if you had three guys that, say, your owl had, and you'd be hitting 
uh, multi-shot on all of them. That'd be like the best realistic scenario. But usually your owl cannot handle too much of that. And owl's pretty tanky, especially with straight uh, screech, but not to that extent. Yep. And so I just think, you know, back when I was doing, when I was doing Vanilla Hunter, I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about anything. I thought Arcane Shot was like a good ability to use, for example. It's, I mean, it has, it kind of has a place, but it takes a lot of mana and it doesn't, it's like damage per mana is very low. So when you're in the, like a leveling context, uh, you, you don't use it because like you've got better things to spend your mana on, mainly uh, stings. Right, uh, so you're like Serpent Sting is good damage per mana. Amulation Trap is great. It's like the most damage per mana that a hunter will have, uh, especially like right when you train it. And then uh, you know Multi Shot is good because Multi Shot is just it's another shot, and sometimes it's two. You know if you can manage it, or even three enemies. And so Multi Shot, I think if a Multi Shot hits two enemies, it's uh, it's a really good damage per mana, especially if you have a good good weapon. Right, if you're if you're like not keeping up with your weapons then Oh, that's a lot of guys. Uh, okay. Okay. See, my my owl is so good. I love my owl. Like it's getting, its screech is just so so powerful. Let me get the get AOE aggro on those guys. I love screech. Does that scroll of stamina? Should I give that to my owl? I guess so. It's not really... Okay, I messed that up. I was thinking about that scroll, dang it. Okay, so just going back and forth. Back and forth. So that's that's the most basic form of this. So I'll, I'll get to where I'm adding shots in here later. Well, that's the absolute most basic form. Go ahead and give my pet a little extra stamina. Why not? You will enjoy it. And yeah, like look how good Screech is. Like I just had guys next to him. I hit him with an auto sh with a multi shot, but after two Screeches, uh, the owl gets it off me. You know, this guy. Well, spoiler, he doesn't make it out. <laughs> That's so sad. But it is what it is. I guess. Uh, and I just didn't know what was going on in vanilla, and I think a lot of people didn't. I don't think I was the only one, right? Uh, but these days, now that you know, private server has been in long, around for a long time—15 years of uh, since Vanilla WoW came out—and even, 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 not with that, there's people playing classic WoW now. You know, they've had the, the like the theory crafting communities and and people looking at things. They've they've had so much time to hone their skills that. Uh, a lot of things have been found, right? And to be more efficient than when people were initially doing them in middle. I think melee weaving is just just one of those. If you look at old, like say some old Wowhead comments and some older stuff, you might see people kind of indicating that you know you could have you could attack two mobs at once. You know that that kind of thing is 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 mentioned there. But as far as like melee weaving, especially like say in a in a raid setting, not not that popular. Okay, and melee weaving. I mean the general idea. As, uh, so first of all, I'll, I'll, I'm regurgitating a lot of what I've been talking about here. Okay, so... Oh, he got me! Well, that's uh, that's unfortunate, guy. I will take this, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go to Hall of Explorers. But first, I want to go back down here. There's a couple things to... Like a quest to turn into the outhouse. And this is me just kind of talking about melee weaving and I'm, as I'm trying to do it better. I've, I've, I've been doing it on my uh, on my own uh, without these sort of uh, UI elements, right? Uh, but I want to I want to do I want to do better and it's hard to do that without measurement so that's again that's what I'm doing here. And everything everything I'm talking about if you want to know more uh, the Hunter Wild Hunter Discord, uh, very supportive about melee weaving. There's a melee weaving channel in there. Anything you want to know 
Uh, you can ask questions in there first, though. The very first thing that you should do, as with just about any sort of, uh, I imagine, wow, uh, Discord that people use for information, is first you should go to the pins, right? Check the pins first, look at those. Uh, it, it lists all of these UI things that I'm us using. Most of them are part of weak auras, except for the uh, weapon swing timer is its own separate add-on. Uh, but like all these UI elements, this one up here, this one over here, this here, and then uh, this one here and this one here. Those are all from weak ores. All right. And you can find uh, information about those on the WoW Hunter Discord. I'll look at them here in a second. Uh, where's the... Is this, is this just ore over here? I think so, right? Yeah. I mean, since I'm here, I'll just look good. I wanted to go to the outhouse. HM out of range. I don't know what that means. So I can also talk a little bit about uh, what these UI, weak, what these weight doors are trying to do a little bit to my to my understanding. I got them just today, so I'm trying to understand them too. Uh, and I'll also probably look at some of the, like, the documentation on the on the weak aura pages. So of course you go to the the, the pins in the WoW Hunter WoW Classic Hunter Discord, and you'll find uh, the links to these. And if you click on the link. To like the Wagyo page, then you can find more information. So I'll, I'll probably look at that. I might look at those a little bit and see what's going on. Um, but like an overview, like this one, these are essentially timers for how long each portion of the melee weave is taking you. Okay, and so there's a post in the Discord that describes all of these. Oh, my bed needs food. I've got some white spider meat. I remember this quest. There's a couple outhouse quests, you know. Alright. Yep, 4200 experience just for that. <laughs> Silk cloth. Uh, wait, do I have any silk? I have two. Do I have any more anywhere? I do have some on my alt. But it might just be faster to, like, fly somewhere and get more. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I'll, one feature that I do like of TSM is TSM shows you where all like where all your inventory is. Definitely, I mean, a lot of bag add-ons will do that too, but I do enjoy that TSM does that. That's definitely a, a useful feature. My bags are getting pretty full right now. Cinched letter. This is not worth anything. I might. Well, we'll, we'll deal with that later. So like, so you'll see on here as I do my melee weaving. Uh, you can see the effects that it has. It should update every, uh, I guess, every time I go to weave. And I believe that this here is essentially what? Okay, this here is like sending information to these other items. Okay, so I'll get in the sweet spot. I may, I'll auto shot. I missed. Okay. Go back to the melee zone. Sweet spot. As soon as my auto shot's going off, I'll do that. And of course, uh, as, as you can see, like I'm going back and forth a lot. And I wonder if that guy will aggro me after he's done chasing. Some weird thing like that. He shouldn't, but who knows. Oh, he's chasing that guy forever. So you know, I obviously have to go back quite a bit when I'm doing the melee weaving, right? And that's that's what makes it potentially not good. So if we just look at uh, these timers here, what it's saying is this is uh, my first auto shot, right? So I do my auto shot, and then I have to uh, run through the dead zone. So this red I red icon here, uh, the red bar with the little sprint icon, is me running through the dead zone one way. And this is when I press the Raptor start Strike, and I believe when the Raptor Strike actually occurs. And then this is me running back out through the dead zone, and this is my auto shot once I'm out of the dead zone. So there's actually a, uh, again, if you go to the, the pins in the melee weaving, wow, well, classic Hunter Discord, there is a post that helps uh, Describe, describe this. So like one, I'll just read straight from it, right? One, the time after firing auto shot to move into dead zone. Right, so that, that theoretically could be zero. 
Uh, and then this bar running through three time after getting a melee range to, to cast Raptor Strike. Right, okay. And then four, uh, this one here, is time after casting Raptor Strike to get back into Dead Zone. Okay, that's what it is. All right. And then five, time to move across Dead Zone to get into Auto Shot range. And then six, time after getting Auto Shot to ca start casting Auto Shot. And then it says here some additional notes. Um, there was one thing that said uh, you should be able to get the total time for Melee Weave down to like 2.4 seconds in uh, Dire Mall North. That should be like your goal that's like really good. Uh, and then like 2.8 seconds in like a raid situation. So the entire weave, right? So it's like, how, how, how long does it take to, to do a auto shot? It obviously depends on your weapon. I've got a fairly slow bow, the Bloodseeker from Altrock Valley. So this says like a 3.3 and then it, it automatically has haste from the quiver. I don't have the max level quiver. This is 13%, right? So I'll attack 13% more. I don't know if this tooltip actually is... It says 2.92. I don't know if that's accurate. This here says 2.92 as well. So we'll, I'll, I'll suppose it is. Does that check out? Like what's 3.3 uh, times uh, 0.87? 2.871. .8 so I don't know why that's different. <laughs> oh no. Like why is that different? I don't know. 13%, right? Yeah, 13%. So, 1 minus 0.13 is 0.87. 3.3 times 0.87 is 2.871, not 2.92. But I've heard tooltips lie, so... I mean, that was... You know, like, Diablo 2? They called it the lying character sheet. Because, like, the character sheet that you have when you bring up your character is just completely wrong on, like, every facet. Like, people said, by the time you get to the Den of Evil, it's wrong. You know, like, by the, for the first time you actually get into any... Any zone that's not just literally walking out, like you level up one diamond, it's probably wrong. That's <laughs> oh my goodness. So obviously, this this whole process, as I was showing, it gets more complicated as you start to use your abilities. So there, I'm using aim shot. I've missed. I didn't get my raptor strike off. Go back in. Okay. So I'm, I'm one thing that I've, I've noticed, like, uh, theoretically, apparently, this, this first one, this is, uh, this first green bar should, it says, should be as close to, to zero as possible. And I'm getting 0.3. I mean, 0.3 seconds is not nothing. Uh, I think, uh, what did, what did, uh, what did, uh, this person say here? Like, 0.02. Most common is like 0.1 to 0.2 seconds. 0.15 for the bottom bar. So like obviously I, I have some room to improve, right? Okay, what else do I have to do? Here. Uh, yeah, I need to go do the lookouts and I, I guess the steam smiths. Not exactly sure who dropped, it, dropped those, but I'll go over there. I know it's at least the lookouts. I'm looking for a couple items. So as you use abilities, uh, then yes, it becomes much more complicated with the weaving, right? Oh my. That's not what I wanted to have happen at all. Okay. So we'll see what goes on here. Uh, yeah, like my pet on that one, I guess. I will just have my pet get all of them. Okay. Then you see the, that great big delay from whenever you, uh... You get up from aim shot. Which, uh, I think everybody who's ever cast aim shot has noticed, like, why does it take forever? Okay. I'm just taking it easy right now, because I got really close to dying. Okay, hopefully that's done. And then I can go back to uh, melee weaving a little bit. Okay, get that off. Well, I, my aim shot missed. Get that there. Back into the sweet zone. Okay. Whew. 
I did not. I did. My plan there was not to pull four enemies. Uh, that was not what I intended to do. But it turned out all right. Just need a bandage for a little bit. And when I get into like those high stress scenarios like that, I'm not thinking about, oh, should I melee weave now? <laughs> nope. But uh, I, I, I mean, I, I didn't need to melee weave necessarily because at one point the golem was on me, right? So I was just hitting him and. As you can see, my I have my main hand, and that's being used up, the swing timer, and then also the uh, my auto shot timer. All right, okay. But I did once there was only one enemy. I went back to trying to to weave more. Let's see here. But as you as you continue to do things, if you put in abilities, that's, it does start to alter when you can weave a little bit. Oops, like I messed up that there. That should have been a multi-shot. Uh, so if you look, one thing that you can do, like the most basic thing that you can do, so we're assuming, assuming that you have aim shot and multi-shot. Okay, so you can start melee weaving um, level 10 once you have your pet, right? Because before your pet, you're not you're not getting anything tanked. So first of all, get an owl at level ten if you can. Uh, like it's if it will be worth it. Like I am I am so amazingly impressed with my owl after having it for a while. Like it's definitely. Somebody made a big Reddit post about it, and I was like, oh, you know, I don't know. No, it's worth it. It's totally worth it. Owl's amazing. Go get one at level ten if you're making a hunter. <laughs> Just do it. Do it. And the reason it's good, it has Screech. It has it, it, it has Screech. Screech is like amazing AOE aggro. As you can see there, um, I'm casting multi-shot and it's fine. Like I'm not even, wrong button. I'm not even uh, losing aggro or gaining aggro rather. And when I'm casting multi-shot until I cast multi-shot like a couple times. Yeah, if you keep keep casting multi-shot, it, it might pull. If you multi-shot or it, you get like a really big crit, but Screech is amazing, and they have dive, and they're almost, they're like just, the the damage component literally 3% different from a cat, which is the most, the most damage I can have. So it's, it's, it's almost the same, you know, a sentry. I don't know. Oh, that guy's elite. Didn't realize that. Okay, well, let's just, uh, let's knock him out. All right, let's do a little melee weaving. Yep, dead zone. Melee weave. Out of mana. Go back in. Sweet spot. Just keep going back and forth, back and forth. Try to go in a straight line as much as you can. Like, uh... I guess you could theoretically not move at all if you did it, like, exactly right. So, but uh, I'm, I'm not quite the best at that. Uh, but I do strafe. So, like, I use my, I use my uh, mouse hand to do the strafing, right? Like, if you don't... Well, actually, I don't even have... I I, I have I don't have the, the usual, like, the default strafe keys. I don't even have them bound, right? Because I always use I always have my right-click uh, depressed. Okay, get in. Okay. I should drink some water. Uh, In-game and uh, out-of-game, too. Sure, why not? Okay. Like, I, I've, I've definitely noticed that these... These times on my auto shot, they seem really bad. Those parts seem really bad, and the ring wing clip seems really bad. The moving part, that seems pretty normal. Now, there's a comment on here uh, that says 0 0.950 is 100% move speed. 0.88 is um, 108 to 110% move speed. And... 0.80 is 120% moves. I don't have any move speed buffs on me right now, so I don't know why that's exact, not exactly right. And it says that, like, it's static something within point, plus or minus 0.02. Okay. These, so this this here is really what you can, you can look at to see if you're weaving well. And which one is that? That is the, uh... Uh... Yes, the Weave Component Timers group, right. So that's the Weave Components Timers group, and that's the one that's showing you where you can be improving, 
All right, so this this is like the big one for showing you your your results, right? If you add up all the components on there, you'll uh, be able to see like how much time is it taking you to melee with you. And then you can make a decision if it's worth it for you or not. So I'm not sure why my movement speed is high. I don't have any sort of movement speed abilities on me right now. Like, not my boots. Not like some... Uh, like, if, the, 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 if there was a script that could check my movement speed, I could run it and it would just be like 100% right now. Do this little mithril over. Uh, but those, it looks like that my, my like when my auto shot's happening is is uh, not very good, and uh, me getting my raptor strike off is not very good. And sometimes I try to hit my raptor strike and I just miss it. I'm not sure if I'm not facing, or I'm not. I it could be hit, I'm hitting the wrong button. My raptor strike is right next to my uh, aim shot, so it's like a macro, so I could theoretically be doing that doing that wrong. And the sort of the rotation that you have is that you should do the rotation should be once you have aim shot. Oh, come here, guy. Actually, I shouldn't want him on me. I should want the other guy on me. There, because the other guy. Uh, the other guy will die quicker. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't. That wasn't good. Okay, let's get that guy in there. Alright. And you can see I have the aim shot cast bar, the white, and then the, when the red's coming out, that's me. I can... Okay. Yeah. When the red completely goes out, there we go, the spyglass. Dark Iron Lookout. There's like Steam Smiths, and there was a named guy in one of these towers. I'm not sure if like maybe he has it. So these are what really tell you if you're being efficient with your the components, trying to figure out which part of your. Where is this trade man? Is he in something? It says Tar Trade. I saw him earlier. Is he like in the ground? His name's. Uh. This thing is gray, so I guess he's probably underground somewhere. So that's probably not the guy I'm looking for. I hope. Can you go down this way? The question isn't, can you go down this way? The question is, can you go up this way, right? <laughs> okay, well. What's this guy going on? The undermarket? Is this guy like a bad guy? Is he gonna aggro me? I don't know what this is. Is he PvP? No. Uh. All right, let's get him. Uh, I should have my pet tank that. That's what I really need. Cause <laughs> that's an elite. It's gonna hurt a lot. Oh man, this guy slows me. This this may have been a mistake. He's out of mana. Uh, my pet's almost dead. I'm almost out of mana. Uh, get him. Uh, yeah. Uh, pet's gonna die, is what it's looking like. Maybe I can heal him a little bit. Ooh. Okay. I'm out of mana. Okay. Just keep healing. Do some melee weaving. Stun. Maybe that'll stun him? Nope. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's dropped something too. Well, he doesn't. He didn't drop anything, but he could have. Okay. So that was obviously not what I needed to do. That was really harrowing. I got. I got it. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Can I get back up here? Cause that'd be cool. Uh, yes! Wow. 
Now can my owl get up here? Get on up there. Get on up there, come on. Come on, let me wall jump. Let me do it. If I go backwards. Oh my gosh, come on, Blizzard. Really? Ah. Uh, it's such a bad feeling when you can't, uh, can't get up something, even though it looks like you really, really should be able to. I'm gonna try for a little bit. This is not melee weaving, by the way, but, uh, this is, this is how I like to spend my time on WoW. Trying to get up stuff that I really shouldn't, shouldn't be even trying to. We did it! We did it! <laughs> oh, it feels so good! When you make it up there... It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a certain kind of high. I don't know what kind of high, but it's a kind of high, and I like it a lot. It usually doesn't work, so I'm just. That's why I'm really happy about it. Okay, Steam Smith. Okay. So like, as soon as I see that red bar, well, on the, uh, on that I should go in there. But see, it's not showing up all the time. That. The red bar on my on the my shot swing timer. It's not showing up every time, especially with uh, aim shots. So I'm not sure what that's about. I'm kind of confused about that one. Yep. Like this is as close as I can get, right? There it goes. In there. Didn't get it off. Messed up my auto shot. This is this is an example of a bad a bad one. I'm facing you are facing the wrong way. Hmm. And I think that can happen too. So sometimes I go in, and then I'm already turning, and I'm turning a little bit too early. And that's one thing I've, uh, I've seen people mention, is when you're trying to do this, if you move a little bit too early, uh, you won't get it. Let's see. You go get that guy, I will get this guy. Okay, so we can just go like this. Okay. And like when you're like this, the timings are not so tight. Like, I have my, my swing timers, I have both of them going, but uh, he'll probably come after me, I think. So yeah, I didn't want to go after him. Okay. Smithing Tuyuri. Tuyur? What is that word? Here, let me get, let me get somewhere else and I will go look I will go look at that. What that word is. Smithing toy 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 toyer 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 toyer. You know, that's like one of those words. I, I I don't know I don't know that I've ever seen that word before. But there are some words that it's like, what is this word? A famous one for me is Aegis. Right? Aegis A E G I S uh, Shield, right? Aegis. It's pronounced Aegis. The A-E is like Caesar, right? Just Caesar, Aegis. And then the J makes the, uh, the G makes the J sound. What was that? Toy, Toyer, Toyer. Let's see if we can get that, Toyer. A nozzle through which air is forced into a smelter, furnace, or forge. To year. To year. To year. To year, okay, to year, to year. I'm probably not exact, to year, to year, to year, to year. You know, the pitch is important, right? You should try to get the pitch right. Especially for some languages. It's, the pitch is like excessively important. Like, like some Asian countries, they have uh, the pitch, like uh, like say Chinese, I believe the pitch is like almost everything, right? Okay. And uh, one thing about melee weaving is if you have haste effects, ooh, please, please stun him. I did not want him to be coming to get me. If you have haste effects, uh, it makes things a bit more complicated. Where'd all my mana go? Okay. Are these guys elites too? Fire guard. What's better? Guards or... Well, or the casters. Got a drink. Okay. Whenever he's all my cooldowns, my mana goes away so fast.
So I don't really understand what this UI weak ore is about. I believe it feeds information into these ones. This one is a hunter efficiency macro. So it's telling you like, are you using things like essentially on cooldown is my understanding. Okay, get in as quickly as I can. Do that, get back out. Get the main lady, the multi-shot off. The multi-shot, I'm not sure if I'm doing that as like quickly as I can be. Get back out, multi-shot, get back in. Like, multi-shot does have a small cooldown. These guys are kind of all right to practice on because they actually have like a lot of health. Oh wait. So like, how was that? That felt okay. The movement was pretty good. In and out of dead zone. This was not okay. This is like, theoretically, this should be like zero. One thing I wish this had is that it, like, it had a summation feature. That would be good. But it doesn't. This is saying like how much stuff's being pushed back, I believe. Like this, this should mean if it's filled up, I believe that means it was used as quickly as it could be. This got pushed back by 2.9 seconds. And this got pushed back by 1.9 seconds. And, I, and this got pushed back by like 2.66 seconds. I believe this is like, it's it's essentially saying, how long is this on cool, uh, how long is this available and you're not using it? So like from the moment it comes off cooldown until you use it. So it could be, if you were doing everything correctly, like, like let's just do one where we're, we're not melee weaving and just see how that goes. So then I do my multi-shot. Okay, and I just sit here and I just wait. See, like that one. I wanted to wait just a second to let the uh, multi shot go off. Er. So, get that off and then immediately cast aim shot. So, I'm just watching. Should probably move these a little bit. Okay. So, here you can see, like, yes, I did delay an aim shot very slightly because I was right in the windup of an auto shot. And I the same thing with this. I was in the I was winding up to that. I don't know why this is I don't know why that's not complete. Like a hundred percent. Not sure on that one. Okay. Let's just get this started. This is a caster, so I feel like it should probably go a little bit easier. Okay. Yeah, like the casters, they just my pet just eats them, you know? Get in there, hit them. They heal though, that's kind of annoying. I guess theoretically I, sh I could save my uh, stun for the heal, but I don't think that's really worth it. It's really hard, it's hard to get that to work. First of all, it's like, use the stun to interrupt. Is he cursed? What is it that's that reducing strength and stuff? Yeah, strength and stamina. Normally when I'm drinking, I send my pet in to attack, but for elites, I'm not going to do that. Now these elites are like five levels lower than me, so it's really not much, not much of an issue for me to, to be doing at least one of them at a time. But I'm not going to do anything like... Uh, not going to be getting like several at a time or anything. Okay, let's get the shaman. Right there. Aim shot, and then watch the for the red bar go off. Okay, I missed it because I, I was facing the wrong way. That was the error I got. Okay, now we use aim shot, and then the auto shot that comes right after. Get in there. Oh, missed again. Oh, that's ugly. Well, that aim shot's not going off. No, don't shrink me! Why do I have aggro? Strange. Yeah, these guys, uh... Oh man, those misses. It feels really bad, because then I just ran, I wasted like three seconds for nothing, right? If I miss. Okay. So I'm in the sweet spot, so I'm gonna try a little bit better to not miss. Like, probably just spend a little bit more time not turning around. Okay. 
I give the server a, a bit of time to recognize that I'm still facing towards uh, the enemy. It's like, I'm pretty sure when I click it, it's... I'm, I'm facing towards it. I click it and then I turn. But it, it looks like the maybe that's a little bit fast for the server. I've like, got, got the fastest hands in the West. No, it's just, I think, probably the server has like some a little bit of lag or something. Okay. So, and what the rotation should look like, it should be auto shot. If you want to do the maximum weave, it should be auto shot, aim shot. Oops. Went a little bit too far there. Uh, auto shot, aim shot, and then uh, auto shot, and then run in. Ooh, I messed that up. Didn't get my uh, auto shot off there. Ooh, is my pet gonna die? Almost. These guys are a little bit tough. They're a little bit tough. Using up, using up my resources on them. So the, 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 there's a couple things you can do. One thing is, like, you can just go into melee weave any time that, like, you're not, that you don't have either aim shot or multi shot available. Because a normal rotation with aim shot goes, like, auto shot, aim shot, auto shot, multi shot, auto shot, and then there's nothing to do until the next auto shot. And in that space between where there's auto shot and then auto shot, you can do a melee weave. So you go in there and cast Raptor Strike. And then you run out. And then you do the auto shot, and then you do aim shot, right? And then you do auto shot, and then uh, there's like a gap there usually, and then you do auto shot, and then it's multi shot, and then auto shot, aim shot, auto shot, you know. And it, it's like a, it's like basically two steps. There's a, and again, go to go to the Wild Classic Hunter Discord, <laughs> go there and uh, go to the guide. Raptor strike, Raptor strikes in you. I believe it is. That's the one that you want to go to. That looks very detailed as far as like what the rotation looks like and everything. Like I'm just, I'm just saying it because I like, I like to say it and make sure that I understand things. Like I'm not trying to take away anything from all the amazing work that's been done on this. But if you want to melee, if you want to melee weave to the to the max, then you actually delay your multi shot and go in and melee weave. And that's actually a little bit uh, more melee action. Going in there. Now I can do it. aim shot. Make sure I let my auto shot go off. I feel like it's a pretty big deal if I get the if I get it done correctly or not. On these, on, these are elites, so they they hit pretty hard. And uh, I have to I have to basically use like all my resources on them every time. At first, I was like so confident, and then I'm like, wait, you know what? Actually, <laughs> actually, if I stop and think about this, they're pretty dumb. Level 49, I'm level 43. I have a great, I mean, I have an excellent weapon, like this crossbow. It's the previous crossbow, absolutely, for uh, before you start raiding. And then the next thing that you want, you know, of course, like, uh, Rock Delar is really good, but. Okay, get in there. So I'll do my aim shot, my auto shot, and then my aim shot, which I have macro together. As soon as that goes off, get in there. Back into multi shot, make sure it goes off. Melee. I don't think I got that off. And then let this cast. And then I will melee weave. And then I'll get up back into range. Do that. Oh, hello! Hello, friend! Uh, I don't like that at all, actually. Uh... Because I'm gonna run out of mana. My pet's gonna die. Okay. So we'll just, we'll do what we can. I might pop a potion here. Just so that I can cast... Use my, my abilities again. Yeah, hit me for a little bit, actually. That's actually good. Slow down. I'm not paying attention to my surroundings, so I could totally die. Had to use a potion there. Symbol of Ragnaros. Okay, well, that's how do I need it, so I'm done with these guys.
It was a bit spooky, because I went out this way, and I wasn't looking where I was going, so I could just totally run into more run into more enemies and die. That is uh, that's certainly something that can happen when you kind of panic, and you just start running. Like, really? Am I not going to be able to get that little crevice? Do I have to go up here to kind of get over there? To this, I want to get this dark iron deposit. What's up here? More guys. Okay. Well, yeah. Don't know what I expected. Okay. Dark iron deposit. There it is. Okay. Give us some skill up. But if you want to do the maximum amount of melee weaving, uh, you go in and you do a melee attack, even if you're not uh, having Raptor Strike up. So you do your auto shot, aim shot, auto shot. That's the first little bit. And then you actually go in and, me and uh, melee, use your Raptor Strike. And then you do, you come back out, you do multi shot, auto shot, and then aim should be up. And then you go in and you do Raptor Strike again, or at least, yeah. But again, uh, a better explanation of that, that's easier to see on the, on the Discord, I think. I think I've done it at least one of these times, right? Like, at least one of these times that that sort of uh, uh, chain of events has occurred. This is right by the town. That's nice. I ran away without doing those geologists. Well, I'm not gonna. I don't even know if I'm gonna do that quest. The silk cloth. I mean, come on. Nobody here dropped silk. That's the problem. Like, like almost nobody got like two silk. Is my chicken out? No, I should get my chicken out. Okay. That was the real problem. I didn't have my chicken out. I need my chicken. My mechanical chicken. So I can have a, a real owl. They're both real, but, you know. Okay. And the whole idea of melee weaving is just... It's just like... It's free real estate, basically. Like, it's just free damage. If you do it like with some modicum of, of correctness, it's 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 just free. And these uh, UI elements here can help you make sure that you're doing it correctly. This is really the one that makes you do it correctly. After I just I just go I went ahead to the sticky and I got all of them. But as far as like straight improvement is concerned, I think this may be the biggest one. Like, if all you're trying to do, like, if you wanted to maximize your melee weaving potential, look to the, the, this is what you need to be looking at. These here, I totally understand why they're helpful. Because it can let you see how far, you're, how far you're, like, pushing things back to do this. And you might say, like, but if you do this, the thing is, if you do this really well, you shouldn't be pushing these back very much. So I think if you, if you do this here, maximize this, or minimize the time spent here, it should be pretty good. The main hand weapon swing timer is, doesn't seem like that relevant to me. Like, uh... There could be cases, I suppose. Now, one thing it could matter is, like, if you had, say, a... If you had a really slow weapon, maybe you could, you could actually potentially do the whole melee weave process before you are ready to swing again. Like, if you had, like, a Pendulum of Doom, right? What is that? 3.9? Attack speed? What, uh... What is Pendulum of Doom? Let's see. Pendulum of Doom. Classic. I don't know what it is later, but let's see. 4.0. Yeah, just, just straight 4.0. So I guess, theoretically, like, you could do this whole process, right? You could melee... And then you could come out, do the auto shot, go back in, and theoretically, like if you had like a really slow weapon, maybe your uh, main hand wouldn't be available yet, huh? Like what is the uh, what's the attack speed on what I have here? So I'm like a uh, Grimlock's charge 2.7, so it's not that slow. Is there something that's a speed? Yeah, and there's nothing that should increase my main hand speed, right? Let's sell some stuff. Okay. Totally get rid of that. Uh, moonberry juice. I actually just, I made a lot of these uh, bandages just so I could sell some of them. Because I know that's going to be worth more than 
Finds when equipped. How much is that worth? Intellect and stamina. Uh, it says it's worth like a two and a half gold profit of uh, over the vendor sell price. So I guess I'll send that. Kind of the problem that I have is that uh, I'm running out of inventory space and there's no mailbox here. Coal. Deep rock salt. Yeah. Just kind of running out of space. I don't need all. I don't think I don't know. I don't need all this fish. Probably get rid of some of that. Like a stack of that fish. I got quest items for days, man. Oh, that's kind of a. It's kind of not good to have so many quest items. But I'll get rid of a couple right now. Just sit all my ore over here, like things that I kind of want to sell. Should I just sell that fish? Sell on it. It's only ten fish. Not a big deal. Aquamarine, sell that, yeah. Or quest item, quest item. Okay. I'll go to Iron Forge here in a little bit. Watch do that. Back. But I really I do really like this. This is really helpful, I think, for the for learning how long it's taking things. So it seems like and I think this in combination with the weapon swing timer, like you should be able to see when an auto shot is going to go off and see like, okay, I need to move right now. Yeah. And also having the, the raptor strike go off, that's apparently a pretty big area I can move as well. Attention. Let's see. Cloth. MP4, MP5 cloth. That's got to be worth more, right? Just waiting for the... Yeah. Because in general, the higher armor classes, like plate, sells for more than mail, sells for more than leather, sells for more than cloth. Okay. Well, with you. Put that there. Let's see. What else to turn in here? Is there someone? Oh, there's a mithril deposit. Okay, that's like, what? Oh, and I gotta turn that down there, right? Hall of Explorers, and down to the, to the totally not a dragon down there. He's definitely not a dragon. I don't know. But he certainly talks like a dragon. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this is going. Definitely definitely need more practice. Elite mobs are nice for practice because they have more health. Greetings. Or maybe like turtles, they take a little bit longer to get. Uh-huh. Just gotta sit for him here a little bit. Feed my owl while we're waiting. Here you go, buddy. Okay. He's chanting an unknown tongue. Maybe like a like dragon. I'm doing 156 uh, DPS. You can see Raptor Strike. So I've been trying to really focus on my melee weaving, and so as a result, you can see my my Raptor Strike damage. 10% of my damage. And then also my my uh, auto attacks, right? So, because I've been trying to uh, weave not just when Raptor Strike is out, but also uh, like when there's like a, like a gap in there. So f almost fifteen percent of my damage is coming from melee, doing this. Now I am sacrificing at least a little bit of my auto shots and at least a little bit of like my aim shots and and multi shots so it's, it's not like a straight comparison uh, really like the thing to do would be to test it out on some sort of target dummy like Dire Mall, no Dire Mall North and just have it going for like an hour you know or just really try it out and see what the difference in DPS would be that would be the real thing to do like just try it try to do like a very tight why is he crying what's going on over here well met. Okay. So I killed some stuff. He's on a sentry brazier. Uh, okay. Can I be mounted or I have to not be mounted? It's looking pretty spooky. Random chest there too. Uh huh. Yeah. Hatred and anger. What can I do for you? I've misplaced my torch. Okay. 
Hey, bro. What you got for me? Yes, I'm totally prepared. Oh, I've seen those on fire. Okay. Okay. That's kind of neat. Axe of the Ebon Drake. Oh, you, you don't say. And all these are dragon type things? Hmm. What a surprise. You know what's a surprise? Cloth leggings with a bunch of strength and stamina. Or excuse me, strength and agility. Look at that. More. <laughs> I love, I just love classic WoW itemization. You know, I just love it. When I look at it, it makes me laugh. I'm like, what were they thinking? You know? Like, is this Dungeons and Dragons where like, even if you don't specialize in a certain uh, stat, you're still useful. Like, nope, it's not. It's not what we're playing here. That's totally got to be with the most, right? Yeah. Main hand. Yeah. Gosh. Like, see, the thing is with mail, it can actually be anything. Anything can be on there. If it's intellect or or strength or spirit, it's good for shaman theoretically. If it's you know, actually, hunters do use everything a little bit. Like, strength, yes, if you're melee weaving, right? Intellect, I mean, it gives you more mana, so you don't have to use potions and stuff for as long. For the alliance. Like, why did I have to talk to that guy? Just to use on a sentry brazier. Hmm. Let's see. I'll pose that in real quick. Okay. So go to the the sentry towers. I've seen them on fire before. So now I understand how they got on fire. You do this quest. It's definitely definitely times when we set things on fire. What is this? It looks like a mistake to go there. So I'm not gonna do that. Okay. This is a kind of a spooky little cage there. Yeah. So I guess maybe what I should do is kind of like write down... Or like, maybe I should analyze this afterwards and just look at look at these for uh, like a long period of time. I think that makes sense. Man, that auto shot took forever to come out. There might be some sort of delay after you mine, though. I, I feel like there is a delay after you mine, specifically. Kind of like how this is a delay after you... Um... Ooh. There is a delay after you feign death, right? And I was reading about it, and they said that uh, after you feign death, don't move to get out of feign death. Instead, cast auto shot to get out of feign death. And that will uh, have better results. I don't exactly... Unfortunately, I don't exactly remember it, but if you, yeah. How are you gonna, how are you gonna search for that? That's a difficult thing to search. Okay. Um, I'm in the medium range, that's not good. Get in there. Oh. Stop. Occasionally my owl loses aggro. But not that often. Okay. Yeah, get in there. And how I said the, the haste buffs, they can uh, affect... That was a awkward stutter. They can affect your melee weaving. Because uh, it's... A lot of times, if it's like, if you have, like, say, two... If you have three haste buffs, it's usually not worth it to melee weave. Do I have to click on? Oh, okay. It's real tiny. You must have the proper item equipped. Oh, okay. All right. Do I have to do it on all of them or? No, okay. There's only one on each. My kitty cat's on the window. Uh, Yeah, let's just walk down, I guess, to get out of here. Okay. 
when you have uh, the, the number of haste buffs, you know, haste buffs reduce the amount between your auto shot time, meaning that you have less time to do like a successful melee weed. Oh, it's even on the maps. That's good. So I can know exactly where to go. Okay, excellent. Uh, oops, just barely. Do this. See my aim shot. Get in there right away. Melee weed. Come back out. Can't cast that yet. Yeah, okay. And here's this guy who's an elite. I think it should be fine. I hope that I hope I'm gonna be in line of sight here. Okay, good. I was I was actually really not sure if I'd be in line of sight or not. Back out here. The multi shot comes out after the um Auto shot? Because that's how I have the macro set up. I like this elite, it's pretty wimpy. Not really having any problems with him. Uh, put this here. Get this back on. Uh, so there's a there's a, some examples of the haste buffs. And how I can't really get around this mountain that way, can I? I? I remember I looked before. Maybe I can get on the edge here. It's a bit scary. It's a pretty far drop down. <laughs> that was kind of risky, but it was. It turned out okay. Let's get over here. All right. Not even any guys. Okay, I'm in the sweet spot. And so it, it said that uh, for the haste buffs, it's usually like for three in almost all situations, if you have three haste buffs. Now the common haste buffs you'll see would be rapid fire for one. That's like the most obvious haste buff that everybody can have. But then the, the other two are uh, troll berserking and then uh, rapid, rapid shots, you know, from improved aspect of the hawk. So if you have three, it's almost never worth it to weave for that period. Um, just for the hasted period, if it's if it's if you have two hasted buffs, it, it might be okay. And then if you only have one, it's almost always okay to weave and like still be an increase as long as you're doing it pretty well. Now the doing it pretty well part can be difficult, so definitely uh, something to consider. Did that? I was facing the wrong way. I feel like maybe I should have almost worth it. I almost wonder if it's worth it to have some sort of indicator when I'm facing the wrong way. Eastern Tower. Okay, there's a bridge to get over there. I don't know what the uh, thinking about that though. Um. I'm, 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 is this gonna happen again? Okay, I wonder. I wanted to do that to see if it would. Uh, because I did that earlier. I multi shot and it got like all three guys. So I don't know why that didn't happen this time. And it would have been actually pretty bad to do because I don't have any mana right now. So I'm like right now, I'm just kind of waiting to feign death or. Cast Intimidate. Intimidate's more mana, so... Okay. I'm dead, guy. You got me. Okay. Should probably drink a little bit. Get my mana back. So there, there are some differences between um, Horde and Alliance for melee weaving. Uh, haste buffs, so like berserking for trolls, um, and I, I didn't see if I, I don't remember if that was like only assuming a ten percent haste buff or like all the way up to forty percent haste buff for for the berserking. But uh, I would imagine it would depend on your level and uh, how far you're taking that. Ooh, yeah. Oh. But another, uh, you know, material difference between a horde and alliance. 
are that uh, Horde have Wind Fury, right? So if you're actually getting the Wind Fury, uh, which, ooh, it's been a while. That's from a totem, right? You have to you have to be in a group with a totem. But let's assume that you can get it. Let's assume that you can get the, uh, ouch, the Wind Fury. Uh, every time you go in to do your, man, really need to be better at that. No, oh, and then I came in that time and it just did melee. Oh, I think well, I think that one was because I uh, skipped past him a little bit. I should have done a melee attack when I was there, shouldn't I? Hmm. Yeah. So horde get horde get a big boon in that they get uh, they get wind fury, right? And wind fury, if you know you're going in there, you're casting a uh, raptor. Oh, there's a chest here too. Nice. You're casting a uh, Raptor Strike, and every, also every time you go in as Horde, uh, you cast like rank one Wing Clip. Ooh, a Journeyman's Backpack. How many slots is that? Is that 12 or 14? 14. Nice. It's like two gold. I don't, I don't have all 14 slots bags actually. Do now. Yeah. Okay, where's the little thing? Get on my thing here. That. Okay, I'm kind of on this side, so I guess I'll go get those. I don't know, I feel like, nah, I shouldn't. It doesn't really matter until I... I was thinking I have those geologists at the, like, the grime slip, but I don't I don't have the silk yet, so what's the point of going on there? I'll just, I'll just do it when I have the silk. Okay. Is that, is that the only thing I have here, though? Is it better to go this way or that way? Well, those guys are chasing me. They don't. Ah, uh, we'll just we'll just go this way. I think that might be like not the best way to go, but uh, searing gorge, set them ablaze, take that to the guy, and uh, iron forge. And that's it. I'll just. I think I will actually just buy some silk and iron forge while I'm there, even though I have it. Like I have it on all, and it takes an hour for mail to go in classic, even if it's to yourself. It's so actually one pretty nice thing about retail is that mail is instant. If it's to uh, like one of your own, what is it? Is it friends or is it like people on your account? I know, and, and to like uh, guild guild members, the mail is instant. So you can you can work you can work, you can make that work out. Does this still give me skills? No. Oh, gold's not worth that much, but it's worth a little bit. I mean, you know, it says right now, like, say, 33 gold-ish. So I got three. You know, that's that's a gold right there, just for how long does it take to mine? You know, 15 seconds or so? If you could do that all the time, it'd be worth it, I imagine. Like, what a, what is, what's the amount of gold that people actually get from, like, Darmal Tribute runs? It's mostly just from selling stuff, right? Like literally just vendoring the all the blues because you get so many blues when you do it that way, and you just have to kill a couple of bosses or just one. I don't know. I I shouldn't talk about it. I don't actually know nearly enough about it to comment. So I'm gonna stop talking. As far as like what you do, but it is a good source of gold. Like that much I know. But as far as the specifics, I don't. Yeah. So like, my movement looks clean. I don't really understand how it's lower my auto shot timings look bad like i'm surprised that they're that and then my raptor strike looks bad too so definitely looking like i need more practice give me this i'll, I'll just real check real quick make sure that's not aren't worth as much so you for vendoring but yeah oh wow what a surprise a dragon Uh, yeah. Well. Let's get a nice, some nice little bit of RP. What is he supposed to be doing? He's supposed to be attacking him? When he's doing that little motion? It's really hard to tell. The Legion of Blackrock invades. Okay. Present them with the trinkets. I already got them, right? 
Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Board, right here. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's open that up. I haven't done this before. Uh, wait, wait, what? It appears locked. Uh, how much cheese? Oh, I had to do it twice. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Is that is it random? What's in there? Black dragonfly molt. Spell power goggles extreme. Is that worth anything? says the market value is 15 gold. So I guess that is worth something. Huh. Could try selling that. Spell power goggles, right? Probably for like uh, people that are like doing... If, if people that are funneling gear to a lower level, probably, would you say? Black dragon flight. What can I do for you? Okay. Oh, hey. That's, I feel like normally in those sort of things, you don't get anything that's really that useful, but that seems pretty good. Was that, uh, that's like the only quest I really have. I got go back to Ironforge. It's pretty close to Ironforge, right? So I feel like I should just fly and not use my Hearthstone. Probably kind of like, like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to go anywhere again, so maybe I should just use my Hearthstone. So at least I use it, you know? Like, when else am I going to use it? Uh, whatever. Yeah, we'll do it. I don't think I'm going to be playing for that much longer and then like need to go back to Ironforge, so I'll just go ahead. Go ahead and hearth out of here. Make sure there's nobody. Yeah, sorry. I got I saw like that guy's little crown. I thought it was I thought it might have actually been like a exclamation mark. Okay. Hmm. Just thinking about like what else I can do to practice my melee weaving? I think just just simply having these tools will help a lot. Do I? Is there a way to like make that not display? I wonder. What is that one? Timing history plugin. Like I don't understand the purpose of that. Uh, like should I just have it not even show? This one I like a lot. This one I'm not so sure about. I, I I haven't been looking at it. The predictive weave bar. I think I think I'll like I'll look up more of it. I'll, I think I'll look up more on all these and try to find out a little bit more information. Cause this one I'm not using like really at all right now. Because I have the, like, it seems a little bit, like, this is the range check, right? So this tells me when I should do the thing, because it tells me when I'm in melee range, and it's, like, big in here. This, essentially, with these little, these parts turn green when you're there, so they tell you when you should use your stuff. This one, uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. T telling you how much you're pushing stuff back, essentially. I might read a little bit more on it. I have very few weak auras. <laughs> As you can tell, like, this is it. I might consider doing something to kind of just move my cooldowns to be more visible. But, uh, I think it's kind of, it's, it, it seems like a thing that after a while, you're kind of like muscle memory would, would take care of that. So it's really just kind of a training aid initially. Because, I mean, the, the whole rotation, right? It's like two cycles, and then it just repeats. So it's not that big of a deal. And it's not it's not like a priority system. I feel like everything in... Just about everything on... Um, retail WoW right now is all is all priority systems. Like, cast, in, cast this when it's up, you know? And, and just repeat, you know? Like, when these things are up, like, just... 
this one is the most important, like, on a prop paladin, I'd say, like, you know, shield of the righteous as you can, and then, like, judgment is, like, the absolute thing you want to be casting as much as possible because it reduces the cooldown on your shield of the righteous, right? Okay, so that. I'm just gonna send all my ore. I was gonna s try to sell this, right? Yeah. Is this BOE? No, it's Soulbound. Black Dragonflight Molt. I guess I'll check out what that is used for. Bruiseweed? Nah. I'll try to sell that, I guess. Just sell those. I guess I will. I don't know. Since I have the Silk Cloth, I know the next time. I, I, I might just be calling it here soon, so. Soul down, quest item. Like, what, why is this? Why do I still have it? Just get rid of it. I can always get a new one if I like really did need it, but I'm pretty sure I don't need it. Okay. Anything else I need to send to my alt? I don't think so. Okay. I've the finest Let's go here. The sell some of this stuff. And I just feed that to my owl. That. Oh, the elemental fire. Mistake! See you soon. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's, it, I mean, it is, it is, let's, it's okay. It is a mistake, but it's a very small mistake, because it's not like, not like it costs anything extra to send it. Let's see here. I think I want to buy a couple bags in the bank. So I have more bag space for that. Alrighty. How are you? Is it 10 for each one after that? Oh my gosh, it's even more expensive. <laughs> Never mind. Send that to my ult too. I forgot how much it costs. Goodness gracious. No wonder people make just... I mean, you can make like... Well, you, there is a, a limit to the bank ults you can have. Because it's only like a 10 per server, right? And then like 50 total. Black Dragonflight Mold. What is that used for? It, it indicated that it's used for crafting. Black Dragonflight Mold. Let's see what that's... see what that is for. Drop by objective of... Oh, it's dropped by other places. Other people, though. Oh, there's a level 54 that drops it. Huh. Objective of a taste of flame. Okay. That's it? Okay. Yeah, and then just people saying how you're getting it. And the dragon and the burning steps. Okay. Alright, yeah. Sure, why not? Uh, just uh, another thing there. People want to do strat. What level is strat? Like, what level is that? Is it like a strictly level 60 type thing? Or do people go in there any lower level than that? Be nice to go get that horse. Oh man, that would be so sweet. Have a Baron's horse? Not happening. But uh, it would be awesome. It would be really cool. Singed letter, I want that. What else? Like, I'm not going to Fellwood yet. I hesitate to put things in the bank that are quest items, because I forget about them, you know? Like, I'm like, oh, I flew to this place, and then like, oh, I wish I had that thing, because I needed it, and now I don't have it, you know? That can definitely happen. Watch your back. Watch your back. Dwarves are fun, you know? I like the dwarves. I like their little things that they say. And this is a cool boar from like a uh, razor fin. Down? Crawl? Down? One of them? I think so. Uh, just use the default UI for this. Because I tried using the TSM. I clearly need more work on TSM too. Need to, need to figure that out a little bit more. Oops. Let's do like 35 to 53 now. Higher level. Uh, see if there's anything like really that stands out. This is level 50. Nope. It's like almost what I have. Oh, it's the same thing. It's like the same amount 
cost Sam out too. 17 agility, getting close to the, the croc list boots are 20 from Mara. Uh, Mara. Mm -hmm. But we're getting into the like, expensive category here. Expensive range. 19, almost. That's a lot of killing. See, like, I got these ones, the Crusaders Iron Guards. I think I got these. Did I buy this? Or, or did it drop? I think it dropped. Yeah, it dropped, actually. 14 agility. Yeah, it's like this three levels where the agility doesn't even increase on the gear. Like, even heirlooms, right, are not like that. I feel like the heirlooms, do they, do they literally increase every single level? They might not. Not in, maybe not. Yeah, this stuff's all expensive down here. I don't want to. I want to deal with that. Okay, I do have someone to talk to here. To the singed letter. It's Hall of Explorers, right? I feel like Hall of Explorers is usually where we do things in here. Yeah. Whenever people want me to go to Iron Forge to talk to people, I feel like it's normally in the Hall of Explorers. I am excited to keep doing more melee weaving though, with like these tools to help me understand. I think I can I can go back uh, like in the bot and look look at the melee weaves, and uh, I didn't necessarily mean to come here, but I think I'll because I can pick up that. There shouldn't be anything I need to learn, right? Yeah, uh, came here at fifty-two, I think. How are ya? Yeah. Off with you. There's a warrior with some uh, tier two stuff. I wonder if he, I wonder if he has to like fight people to let him use his tier two set if he has the full thing. I didn't have a quick look at it. Heads and shoulders. That's like uh, that's what stands out the most to me. You know, initially when I see things and when I'm doing like transmog and I'm um, retail, I like to like start with the head and shoulders and work from there because that's. I feel like that's the things that people see right off, and then like you can kind of work from there to, to work, uh, be doing more. It is kind of interesting to see how, in you know, in classic, right? What you see is what somebody has. Like what you're not, you know, exactly what they have. Like I talked to this guy earlier. Oh, freeze men. Safe oh yeah, okay, so they're in the cauldron. Pretty sure I saw them in there. What else do I have to do in Iron Forge? I could, uh... I could just do, like, some quick flying to, like, Darnassus and get rid of this quest that has two quest items in my bag. That's BRD. Sunken Temple. Back to Tenaris. Eventually, I will go to Tenaris and turn in, like, the... After, like, after I do Sunken Temple, I'll turn in the egg that I had to summon Hakar. I think that's... That's my that's gonna be my goal for when I turn in these... The, the, like, they do the miniature platinum discs. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Going through to Moonglade. Just kind of a pain. Uh, well, uh, you just have to get unfriendly for the Furbolgs to not mess with you, right? It's only unfriendly. Shouldn't be too bad. 16 quests. But yeah, if I, if I go to... If I go to Darnassus, then I'll get... I'll free up two inventory spots. And I will get rid of a quest. So that's pretty nice. Let's stick that in there. Oh, I'm gonna just send, uh, send my alt this bag. Because I don't want to pay 25 gold yet. 10 gold I'm, like, acceptable. But 25 gold's a lot. And, uh, yeah. So let's go to, let's just go to Darnassus real quick. Let's do a little, let's do a little explore. Ooh, look at that! 
Got the Swift Rizashi uh, Raptor. Very nice. I know there's people that, you know, on say like one character maybe, uh, did that raid so long and never got it. And then it was gone, right? Man, it sticks out so much too. It's really nice because you can, like with these, you know, this, uh, this Raptor on Alliance side and the, the Swissulian Tiger on the Horde side, they just stick out so much. Because, you know, I have, you have Swissulian Tiger, yeah, it's, it's, it's a Tiger and it's orange, right? So, it, you know, I get it. It, it, it does stick out, but it, like at first, you know, if you didn't know any better, you could say, oh, it's a cat. And you could say, I mean, this is a green Raptor. There's, there's a green Raptor, right? More teal, I think. But there's a green Raptor. Almost too bad we didn't get the original mounts. Like, it would have been kind of nice if they included both the mounts, in a way, maybe. Like the old, uh, like, Ivory Raptor, for example. I don't remember the old, uh, I don't remember all the old mounts that they had before they upgraded the, the Epic mounts. I just remember Ivory Raptor. There's, like, maybe, like, a Red Raptor. I don't know. Obviously, you could find it somewhere, but... Yeah, that was cool. Nice to see that. You know, it, I can totally see why someone might, you know, like the, the, the Frost Saber, like you'll get it. You know you'll get it. You just do the grinding and you're gonna get it. No question. But like the ZG Mount, uh, ZG Raptor and uh, Baron's Charger, no guarantee. How are you? No guarantee at all. I mean, it, it, theoretically, Okay. If you try an infinite number of times, because the drop chance is greater than zero, you will get the mount guaranteed. But, uh, you know, it's simply like the amount of time that it takes to do strat, strat undead. It takes a pretty long time. And there's no like, there's no like getting around it. Cause you have to kill all the bosses and you have to, uh, you have to kill, as far as I know, there hasn't been any way to glitch it. But yeah, you know, you have to... I don't even know if the boss spawns if you don't do this correctly. You have to kill all the, like, uh, acolytes inside the ziggurats. After you kill the bosses, and then on uh, on dead side. Dead side. And then, uh... And then you have to kill, you know, like... Rammstein and the... Or whatever the guy's name. And then you have to kill the little four guys. And then you can finally get... Get bare. Like... So there's not really, there's no way to like just skip past it. Like, you know, look at Dire Mall Tribute and you have to kill like one boss, maybe two bosses. You don't have to, you, you definitely don't have to kill everybody in there. I know that much at least. No, I don't. I shouldn't talk about it. No, don't talk about it if you don't know. Sorry. But Strat, you got to do a lot of work, right? To get the very amount. And as far as I know, there's no like cheating it. And like the Z, it's ZG's a, it's a raid, right? It's it's not like a it's a, is ZG a forty man raid? I actually don't know. I don't know how many people how many people do do you normally bring to ZG? And then of course they totally changed it. And Cataclysm, right? So I have I have the I have the Cataclysm mount mounts the Panther and the the other Raptor. But I don't have the original ones. Then the Amani Warbear, man, that was so easy to get. I didn't go and get it, you know? Like, I was playing in Wrath of the Lich King and totally could have got... It probably, probably you could solo it, but totally could have got a couple people and got went and got it. Like, so easy to get, and I just didn't do it. This is the Darnassus boat, right? Yeah. No, wait, this is not the Darnassus boat. <laughs> That was the wrong way. Alright, let's take a quick look. There are more operations. Yeah. Almost went the wrong way. Man. So, like, it's, it's it, the, you know, the lockout. You can only do the, the raid once a week, right? Compared to Baron's. Baron's. Baron's is a lower drop chance, though. I don't know how it all squares out, but, you know, you could get... Um, you could just have a lot of alts, right? You could have, 
Oh, but it doesn't really work that way. Ugh. Right? Because the hmm, mounts are not bind to account in Classic. It's per character, right? So, like, the character that you get it on, if it's an alt, like, cool, you got it. You did get it. But uh, that <laughs> you're not going to be able to show it off, right? Unless you, like, log in on it just in town because you have it. And, and like, half of... Half of the fun in getting a super rare mountain like that is showing it off. People like sending you random whispers like, wow, how long it takes you to get that, you know? Or like if you get, if, you, if there's like a new mount released in like retail and you get it before anybody really else gets it or like, and you go somewhere. Like I got the, the one that you got for like pre-purchasing like the BlizzCon tickets, the, mm, for Alliance it's like a gunship. And for Horde, it's like a Zeppelin. Or like, it's still a gunship, but one with a balloon. And people are like, oh, what is that? Where's that from? And then like, you know, half an hour later, more people have it. and People are starting to realize what it is. I know it's not special anymore, but... For a little bit, I got For a little bit, I got You know one thing that a lot of people don't like, and I, I, I don't really get it now so much. I definitely understood it before, but... Now that you can get everything with uh, Battle.net Balance, which is... Gold, right? You can buy Battle Net Balance with gold. I kind of, to me, that makes it not so bad when they offer stuff that costs like real money, but you can also get it with Battle Net Balance. Like, I'm like, okay, so if you play the game a lot, you'll have a lot of gold in retail, right? Like, if you, if you just do, if you do literally anything, you get gold at like max level. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be max level. Like, if you just, uh, there's the boat. Let me finish this fish and I'll go get in the boat. Even if you're just doing like old raids, you'll get some gold at least. Like uh, doing old raids, hope, trying to get um, mounts from bosses. I didn't need to get that close. <laughs> uh, can I give this guy like a target icon? Yes, I can. I don't know, it's not any purpose for that. But... You know, I just thought of like totally random side. So I was talking about I was talking about the balance balance. I'll get back to it. But uh, I saw a thing that said that how uh, raid bosses worked were bunnies. Uh, the way the targeting worked. So like, if Ragnaros uh, has to like target someone, he doesn't. Or like, what was it? Like essentially, like if you're moving, like say you're moving. And you move, you're strafing, right? An enemy isn't actually going right for you. They actually, at, at, at least at some point, they had like a rabbit that was a little bit in front of your character as it was strafing, like an invisible rabbit. And that that is what the enemy would chase after. Yeah, and like uh, if a boss had to target the ground for an effect, it wasn't actually targeting the ground, it was actually targeting an invisible rabbit. I thought that was pretty fun. Like the, just, it's just like the little things that you know, developers had to work with at the time to like get around, like how do we tell it to target like a particular place? Well, if we have like a bunny that like has to follow the rules of the world or whatever, like it's not like through the ground or something and maybe it moves a little bit. Cause like you can give like, Right, like, so you, so you, so you can give a bunny, like, a, a path, right, that it walks. Like, tons of tons of mobs have paths. You know, like, maybe it's random within a certain range or whatever, but they just... You know, if you just look at a mob, it, like, goes, like, a little bit, dit, 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 and then it changes your, dit, 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 you know, it does that sort of thing. So that could give, like, the appearance of randomness. What am I doing? I'm going to do Dynasis. Okay, these guys went. I'm going to go do them. Should go, like, right... Here, right? Something like that. I don't know if it's worth it to mount up. Come on, cheat on. Pass some of these guys. So yeah, bunnies. Interesting, interesting way uh, of doing it. There's, I don't know where I saw that, but it had like some, uh, I think it had some evidence somewhere. Yeah, that was really kind of like a neat little thing though. It's a battle net balance. But you know, like, I think, it's, can you really not jump that? Some people are like still kind of like, they don't like the idea of a uh, like mount sh uh, shop shop mounts. 
They don't like that. They still don't. Where am I going in Dalaran? It is Ritharan Village, right? Complete. Nope, not that one. Complete. Uh, wherever. Let's just get this done. See, now my Hearthstone's on cooldown and I kind of regret it, right? <laughs> I'll get on my ult I'll send over some silk. How much silk is it? I have the quest, right? So I can just... Look at that. Uh, 15. I'll just send over a stack and then sell the rest. Like, it's kind of useful to save, like, a stack of, like, different cloths and leathers. Because they're used in quests randomly. But it's not really that worth it. Like, I don't know. It's, it takes up... It, 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 it's a resource and it takes up space. And you have limited space, right? So I don't know. It's really that good. But... Is this all I'm doing? I think this is the last thing I'm, I'm gonna be do. I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna be done. And then like I'll just Hearthstone whenever I start tomorrow. Are there many more quests in? Uh, Siren Gorge. It looks like I'm. Kind of clearing it out. Got about like a level from that place. Not too much. Like there's the obsidian quest line to complete, but that's not like a whole. I'm probably missing out some stuff. Oh, this guy is he gonna go tell me to go to like Winter Spring? I wonder. How may I help? Moon touched Wildkin. Yeah, Winter Spring. I don't know when I'm gonna go in high. Winter Spring's a little bit high level, right? I kinda think that's like 55 plus. But maybe not. Could be wrong. But, uh. Moon Touch Falcon, huh? I'll hang on to it, because it's kind of a thing that I may not want to uh, go back and do. You need both. Ooh. Yeah. Return to this person? Really? Really, really? I'm going back to Feathermoon Stronghold? Oh. <laughs> I kind of just want to be done, you know? Didn't, wasn't really looking... Where's that boat go? Is that just the boat to Aberdeen? Probably, right? Is there anything in Darnassus I need to do? I don't know, because I don't ever do stuff in Darnassus, so... Probably should have mounted up. I guess I'll go to Featherman Stronghold. It's not that far of a flight. Right? What brings you here? Then not. It's a pretty long flight. <laughs> That's gotta be like a five minute flight at least. Like there's a there's I know there's an add-on that like tracks how long all the fights are. I don't know why it's set up like that. Shouldn't it just like know like you could just know how many how long the fights are? But... One time I flew from uh from Darnassus all the way down to Gadgetham, which may be like the longest one. It was like fifteen minutes. It's a long flight. I was just looking at the timer for it. Yeah, but battle that balance and like the, the shot mounts, it's like... Like, it's true that you're not... Like, there's not any like within the game reason for the mount. And I can kind of like potentially see like a, an argument for that for being against it. It's like... But some of the mounts... They're literally just gold, you know? Like, the Mad Merchant mount, the spider, right? That spider has nothing to do with anything. It's just a spider. There's no, like, lore reason for there to be a spider. Now, yes, the Mad Merchant, it it, it only comes sometimes, right? It, like, it randomly spawns, or it has, like, a, you know, a set amount of times it can spawn, and it's not always up, so you have to put a little effort into finding it, I suppose. But as far as the, the mount itself, like, it's, it's a big spider, which is really cool, by the way. I really like that, that, uh, you know, they, they had a spider that you could ride on because it was definitely a unique look, right? 
I don't know if anything else used that skeleton. You know, like the frame that the mount uh, textures sit on, essentially, the mount model. Like, there's several skeletons that got used a ton, right? But some of them are like, when a new one comes out, I like that a lot. Like proto drakes. Proto drakes are used a ton. Uh, so, like, all, of course, all the proto drakes are proto drake skeleton. But also, all of like um, the firebirds. So, the one from Ragnaros. Right? He's, he drops one? There's a purple one and an orange one and a green one, right? The green one for having a lot of mounts. Uh, I, I imagine, doesn't one of them drop from uh, the Firebird in Firelands and then like one of them drops from... Or does Ragnaros drop that one and the Firebird drops like the the ground mount? Uh, I guess I could look that up. Ragnaros... Firelands Mount. Which one is that? Smoldering Egg of Milliliger's Roar? Which one is that? Yeah. Okay, so that is the Fire Bird. And then what does. Uh, like, Als Razor Firelands Mount? Which one is that? Okay, that's the one that's on the ground. Okay. And then there's uh, the, the purple ones for the achievement. Purple... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah. Purple fire. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, achievement. Mount. Firelands. The Corrupted Firehawk. From Glory of the Firelands, right here. Yeah, okay. But those... Those... Uh, those... Flying fire... Those use the protodrake model, right? And also the uh, the raven ones, the raven like that you get. There's the one from uh, having the collector's edition of Warlords of Draenor, or the the you know special edition, whatever it's called. Because you can you can get it, and you can get that through gold, or at least you could. I don't know if it's still available. That mount. Dread Raven, right? Dread Raven, I believe it's called. <sighs> gotta, look up, gotta look up their names. I can tell you what the right thing is. Dread Raven. No. Brains of the Dread Raven. Yeah. And then there's like the Corrupted Dread Raven, of course. Or whatever it is. Brains of the Corrupted Dead Dread Raven? Dread Raven? Yeah. The, yeah, exactly. Uh, so those. Those those are proto tricks too, right? Uses the exact same skeleton. Anything else that I can think of? Yeah, I, not, that, not that I can think of. Um, the spider, though, I don't know if there was anything that used the spider. And then they released, uh, they did release one, like that weird little bug thing that crawls around. Does that use the spider skeleton, or does the spider use that skeleton? It's a, like a BFA mount. Uh... Uh, BFA zone drop mounts. Yeah, mounts from the leveling zones. Uh, let's see what it's called. The reins of a of a tamed blood feaster. It wouldn't surprise me if that also uses the spider skeleton. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a hyena. I never really saw that one too often. Now the hyena looks like it uses either the cat or the wolf, right? Cat? I think it's the cat. Yeah, it's the cat. It uses the cat skeleton. You can tell like, just by looking at it, right? But the, whenever they release it, like a new skeleton, cause it's a huge deal because there's a lot of effort to put into the skeleton because you, you put in the skeleton. now. Also, when, when you're doing a completely new model and it's not just a new reskin, that's a pretty big deal. Like, so even though the Dread Raven is a proto Drake, they still have to go through and, and make all the, the animations different and like work with all like the clipping and stuff. Now, clipping is a huge problem for a while. Like, stuff clips all the time. Like, look, look, look here. 
Like even I'm clipping on I'm clipping through the hip grips. Look look my look at look at my legs. Right? Clipping right through there. And look 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 at his wings, obviously. Just clipping right through my feet and my legs. Right? Clipping you know. There's no there's no easy solution to it. Like think of all like what do you what do you do? Make like little anchor points where things go and like Yeah, that's that's a lot of effort. That's too much Again, this game's made for potatoes, to run on potatoes. Like, potatoes aren't going to deal with, like, the super hyper-realistic thing, so they're like, let's just have clipping work. Now, there's some things that really, you think the clipping shouldn't be such a big deal with, like, uh, I think, like the, the, uh, the allied race armor, you know, that you get for getting max level? What is that called? But that armor they get for max level on the allied race like that clips and that's just that's not right man like this armor is designed very specifically for that and actually that's one reason why human transmogs in general are just they look nice a lot of times because stuff doesn't clip like i feel like humans are what they base the design for most armors on in general and then they kind of like adapt it to the other races but the battle net balance like going back the battle net balance is like you can get it for gold now, so it doesn't really bother me so much. Like, when you couldn't get it for gold, and it... it and that all started with Diablo 3, right? Diablo 3 is what made the Battle Net Balance occur, isn't that right? I think that's when it started. This is, when does this start the Battle Net Balance? Uh, Battle... Battle... Uh, net balance... History? Uh, start? Time? Like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's beginning. When did it start? I want to say it was Diablo 3 with the Real Money Auction House, right? Because when they had the Real Money Auction House, they like also made the bill bounce. But I guess it was probably part of like a bigger thing. Almost there. Like, the mounts look really cool. Now, I can certainly see, like, some of them, when people say, like, the... The, um... Like, the Feywing, whatever, the, 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 the one that was in, in Draenor, that you, you used to, like... When you flew from, like, Shadowmoon Valley to places, it was, like, the Fey Dragon, and it changed colors and stuff, and that was really cool. And that only existed because it was in the mount shop. Like, that would have been cool to have as, like, a reputation, right? That would have been really cool, like, work really hard and inherit. Farewell. You're gonna give me some cool stuff? For all this effort? I don't even remember, what are we trying to do here? Somebody said get a book, and I'm like, okay. Uh, Stab of Equinix. Actually, key. Uh-huh. A sparkling stone. Upon the four flames. What? What's the dream bow? Where is this even at? Moon to What? Do I really want to do that? Like, I don't know. I might look into it a little bit. What is... Uh, that's rough, man. I thought I'd just be done. Stab of Equinox. Stab, stab of Equinix. Quest. It's way up top. What do you get? You get a sparkling stone. That does seem like actually a little bit familiar, maybe. What do you what do you get? What is a this morrow stone? Mm-hmm. And you get either a ring that has an, an amazing 
amazingly itemized ring. You know? Great stats. Four strength and ten spirit. For all this. I don't I don't even remember what this quest line was about. But I know how to go to Darnassus and other places and Teneris. Um, just or a wand. Maybe that wand's good. I don't know. It says 41.39 dam damage per second. Gosh. Seems super not worth it. Right? Oh, man. Well, when I turn it on, I got experience, right? 3,300. It's probably worth it to fly down here for 3,300 when I was already there. The thing is, I gotta go up, up to here. So I gotta go all the way up here, do a little something, and then come all the way back down here. <sighs> Doesn't really seem worth it. Doesn't seem worth it at all to me. Battle net balance. Once, once, once you could get it, once you could get the mounts with Battle net balance, it, 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 I, it seemed a lot better to me. Like, cause otherwise I never would have got that. No, I'm not spending the fifteen thirty dollars of my money for that. Like, that's not fun for me to just spend money on things like that. Playing the game to get things is fun for me. That's part of the reason I play the game is to like experience the doing of the things and get into the things, right? Have the experiences of going through stuff, you know, questing, collecting quest items, collecting reputation, whatever. Part of that's what's part of the game, and you're in the game, and that can be fun. But just cash, you know, shelling out cash to to get money for a mount, I didn't like that, you know. So I was glad whenever they made it. Whenever you could just use battle net balance, because then you can get it. You can just play the game. You do any, do any. You want to make gold? It's not the most efficient thing. You want to make gold in retail though? Just go, just do anything at max level. Do world quests. Do you craft some things if you want. You know, farm things, grind mobs, do island expeditions. Maybe I don't know if those are. That might not be a good thing. Just it's like anything you do, just about is gonna be getting you gold. Just don't sit there. Doing nothing. Well, I mean, if, well, if you're trying to make gold, I might do. Don't sit there doing nothing. Okay. Now, if you just want to have fun and troll cha trade chat, go for it. Yeah, totally. I mean, I like to do that, but you can troll trade chat while you're doing stuff in the auction house too. You know, so you can still be making money. I, I figure that's got to be at least what some people do who trade chat, troll trade chat all the time. Like they got to be doing something productive, right? But their time, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe the, maybe the trade chat's all that they have going for them. But well, that's besides the point. I'm Brad Blombeard. Good luck and have fun.